Oh, that's Ryan. All those years later. Hello and welcome back to my channel if you're new here. I'm Mary and I make regular reaction and review videos so if you haven't already push that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a video from my channel. The uncut version of this video is also available on Patreon. Link is in the description bar below as well as my new channel Very Cherry where the content may vary but it's still the same on Mary Cherry. Link for that is in the description bar below too. Today we are watching Saving Private Ryan. Now I know two things about about this film. I know that Tom Hanks is in it. Love Tom Hanks. Great actor. Great dude. And I know that it is a war movie. Typically I don't tend to watch war movies because they are very sad. But I'm giving this one a go because it is in a lot of people's top 100 films of all time. And everybody has told me to watch this film <laughs> in the comment section at least. So I'm actually very excited for it. And it is a long one. Two hours and 48 minutes. So strap in, grab some snacks, food, tea, drinks, whatever else that you need. And uh, let's get into this movie. We can still skip it and accomplish our mission. I mean, this isn't our mission, right, sir? Simply saying, it seems like an unnecessary risk given our objective, sir. Our objective is to win the war. Uh-huh. <laughs> Mellish. Sir, I just, uh, I don't have a good feeling about this one. When was the last time you felt good about anything? Facts. Come on, boys. Follow on. Three, three runners with suppressing fire. Mellish, you hook to the right. I'll go up to middle. Who's going left? Mellish right, Captain Middle. Who's going left? Come on. I'll do it. Maybe I should go left, sir. Maybe you should shut up. <laughs> Mags and clips where you can reach them and, and extra grenades for the base runners. Oh my god. Hornets and animals. Damn. Poor kid. Never shot a gun before. He's gonna have to hurry. He's fallen behind. Oh no, oh no. Oh, oh my god. Far out. Four down and dead? Oh, he had to stay back. Oh my god. Doc? The doc? That is bad. Oh my god, it looks terrible. It looks terrible. Oh! Oh fucking hell. Oh god. Wait, don't ask questions. Shit, he is bleeding to death. Oh fucking hell. Jesus Christ. This is bloody. This is so bloody. Oh, and he's the doctor. Oh, he can't talk, dude. He's... I could use a little morphine. I think he knows he's dying. He just wants to die. Painlessly. Give it to him. Dude, give it to him. Here comes. Please, there you oh, fuck. <laughs> that blood looks very tomato saucy though. Oh. I wanna go home. I wanna go home. <sighs> Mama, Mama, Mama. Oh, poor guy. Poor guy. I guess that's the thing that you call for in your last moments. And that's the dock. The dock is kaput. I don't imagine it gets easier seeing the life is out in your friend's eyes, even though it's, it becomes something that you get used to in war. What the heck? Who is that? Oh, it's it's okay. I thought it was one of them, but you killed our doctor, you son of a bitch. Make a mark and cover Wade's body for grave detail. Shut up with that filthy pig lad. Oh. Jackson, you're here. That's kind of racist, but I guess they're mad. He's begging for his life. This is not right. You can help him with the bodies. What is happening? 
This is too much for this kid. Oh man. He's barely holding it together now. God, it's heartbreaking watching Tom Hanks cry. He's such a good actor. I like him though, I can. These guys seriously having a smoke right now? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Stop. It's over. I like America. Spare this guy. Oh, spare this guy. Not everyone in the German army was a Nazi. Oh. Oh. At least I don't think. Surely some of them had to be forced. Fuck Hitler. Oh my god, I don't, I don't. Mm. Oh no. Oh no. Really? Ah. The march a thousand paces in that direction. And he can take off the blindfold, yes, will be gone. If he turns himself into the first allied Thanks, patrol, he comes across. Oh. He's a POW arriving. Can't take him with us. He's a prisoner of war. Pick him up sooner or later. Oh, good. Yeah, only if he doesn't get picked up by his own Wehrmacht first and then thrown back into circulation. Mm. Shooting prisoners, that'd be okay. Shut your That's mouth. against the goddamn rules. Yeah, well, the goddamn rules just walked off with your new friend. But I guess that was the uh, decent thing to do, huh, Captain? It was. It was the decent thing to do. I swear, I hope Mama Ryan's real fucking happy knowing that little Jimmy's life is a little bit more important than two of our guys. Then again, we haven't found them yet, have we? Dude. <laughs> shut the fuck up, man. Get up. Ryben is Gear up. trouble. I'm done with this mission. Oh really? I'll just walk away. Sir, don't you walk away from your captain. Ryben, get back in line. I'll spend the rest of my life in the stockade if I have to, but I'm done with this. I'm not gonna ask you again, soldier. Captain! Oh, oh my god. Fall in. You gonna shoot me over, Ryan? No, I'm gonna shoot you because I don't like you. <laughs> See this? Captain. So, so Ryan's dead. Really? Do it, man. Put one in my leg and give me that I'm gonna shoot you, you big goddamn oh. Put your money where your mouth is. Dude, no. You're on the same side. How much the pool on me up to right now? What, what, what's it up to? Pool? What, what is it? Uh, $300? Is that? I'm a school teacher. Oh. I teach English composition. Ah. It's a little town called Adley, Pennsylvania. It's a, it's the last 11 years. Wow. I'm Thomas Alva Edison High School. I tell people what I do for a living, and that figures. But over here, it's a big mystery. So I guess I've changed some. He probably doesn't feel like a school teacher anymore. I wonder if I, my wife is even going to recognize me whenever it is I get back to her. He has a wife, too. How I'll, I'll ever be able to, to tell her about days like today. Ryan. Yeah. I don't know anything about Ryan. I don't care. It means nothing to me. It's just a name. But if finding him so he can go home, if that earns me the right to get back to my wife, well, then, then that's my mission. Go off and fight the war. This is a good speech. I just know that every man I kill, the farther away from home I feel. That's why he didn't kill that German. He's not really going to walk away. You Can you do that? That's so strange. I feel like that's a super big no-no. Carrying Wade's body on his own. Everybody needs to pull their weight in. Come on, dude. Go help. That was a good speech. Getting personal is exactly what they needed to hear for morale. You know, a personal story, personal anecdote. It literally seized all of the tension. Half-track cover! Oh no. Oh God. <gasps> oh! Who's doing a shoot? Oh my God. Oh my God. That Humvee just got blown. What the hell? Oh my god. Who was shooting at the MV? Oh, oh! oh my god. <laughs> Far out. Oh, they were doing the shooting. Captain Miller. Charlie Company, second Rangers. Corporal Henderson, easy company, 501st. Ryan, first and 506. Ryan. Telling me third and 506. Ryan. Francis, Ryan? Yes, sir. 
How'd you guess that? Oh, dude! We've been looking for you! <laughs> It's Matt Damon as well. <laughs> Young Matt Damon. Sir, if you are relieved, I'm going to file a complaint. Right, the best we can muster up right now is a corporal. All right, a corporal. No captain. We're here for him. Ryan. Me, sir? Sir, yes, sir. James Francis Ryan of Iowa? <laughs> just checking. Yes, sir, I've paid in Iowa. That's correct. What, what is this about? You have to just make sure. Well, we killed in combat. Which, which one? All of them. Ooh. What's this all about? Ryan lost his brothers, all of them. Damn. Hmm. You, uh, hmm. you came all the way out here to tell me that? Well, you're, you're going home. Our orders are to bring you back. To, to your mom. Bring me back. I have my orders too, sir. They don't include me abandoning my post. I understand that, but it changes things. Uh -huh. I don't see that it does, sir. What? He doesn't want to go back? Chief staff for the United States Army he says it does. But your party's over here. Sir, I can't leave until at least reinforcements. You got here. three minutes to gather your gear. Sir, what about them? I mean, there's barely hardly hey, enough asshole. of this. <sighs> Two of our guys already died trying to find you, all right? You're coming. That's right. Damn. He would feel like an asshole right now, knowing that. What were their names? Arwen Wade and Adrian Caparzo. Wade and Caparzo. He, he has to go now. It doesn't make any sense, sir. Why? Why me? Why do I deserve to go? Why not any of these guys? They all fought just as hard as me. It's your mother, dude. They're supposed to tell your mother when they send her another folded American flag? Tell her that when you found me, I was here, and I was with the only brothers that I have left, and that there's no way I was going to desert them. Oh, my God. Wow, he's noble. I think she'll understand that. No way I'm leaving this bitch. Whoa! Ha <laughs> ha! After all of that, he's still saying... No, after finding out that two men died for him, he's still saying no. That's kind of shocking. I'm not going to lie. There is no way in hell that they're about to fail this mission. <laughs> now they have to go all the way back. Actually, we have crossed some strange boundary here. The world has taken a turn for the surreal. Part of me thinks the kid's right. What's he done to deserve this? But another part of me thinks, what if by some miracle... We stay, actually make it out of here. Someday we might look back on this and decide that saving Private Ryan was the one decent thing we were able to pull out of this whole god awful shitty mess. Mm -hmm. That's what I was thinking, sir. We do that, we all earn the right to go home. So if they get Private Ryan, everything. they can all go home immediately. It's a pretty good deal. Somewhere, a little bad news down on their heads. That would be the idea. Wow, everything is so destroyed. I love Jackson. We could hit the tank in the tracks. Yeah, but with what? Now they're all fighting together. Sticky bomb, sir? No, it's in the field manual. You can check it out if you want to. We seem to be out of field manuals, sir. Perhaps you can enlighten us. Take a standard issue GI sock, cram it with as much comp B as it can hold. That way, when you throw it, it should stick. The bomb that sticks is a sticky bomb. Oh. This is good. Now we got to surrender our socks. <laughs> I feel most for the translator because he's so green. <laughs> TNT. Yeah. My gosh, that's got to be like a church or something, a cathedral. I wonder how long it took to rebuild Europe after World War II. Here are the mines. God. Forward machine guns, not in a terrible firing position. He's a great captain. He leads very well. Captain? Where am I during all this? Uh, you are going to be protected. So you got to be Johnny on the spot with the ammo, or we're dead. Right. You understand that? Johnny on the spot. You all right? <sighs> yeah. Hmm? He's so skinny. Why is just handing out cartons of cigarettes? I said, no, thank you. I don't smoke. <laughs> Guess he does now. Yeah. Fucked up beyond all recognition, right? This must be great for Oppen because he's Jewish and he's like fighting for his people, you know? Yeah, well. I would be so mad if I was Oppen. Like, 
full of so much anger for the Germans. I'm surprised he didn't chuck a fit when they let that German go, actually. Oh, coffee machine ain't working. I think you should put it down, bud. Her lover left her. She still sees his face everywhere she goes. Oh. On the semi-bright side of things, you are being paid to travel Europe. Even life itself only represents you. If we're trying to look on the bright side. To be honest with you, I, I find myself curiously around. <laughs> <laughs> it's really melancholy song. At the beginning of the song, she says, um, "And then one day you left. See all of the sky. I see you all over the earth." Oh. Many more songs like this. The crowds aren't going to have to shoot. Reminds me of Mrs. Rachel Trubowitz and what she said to me the day I left for basic. What? Don't touch me. All right. So we're in the dressing room. She's trying to squeeze into this. Side cut silk ribbon triple panel girdle with the uh, the shelf lift <laughs> for Zier. She's just pouring out of this thing, you know? Is it really tight? No, no, it's beautiful. And it's hard on the size of the statue. Oh my right? god. She's asking me, Richard, calm down. Now, when you're over there, if you see anything that upsets you, if you're ever scared, I want you to close your eyes. <laughs> I'm thinking my tits. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so I said, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Lovely. My God, his hand is increasingly worrying me. Are you all right, sir? I feel like that's going to be a problem. Yeah, I'm just keeping the rhythm. At some point, like he's going to fuck up because of his hand. Is it true you were a teacher back home? Yes. See, that's something I could never do. No, not after the way me and my brothers treated our teachers. <laughs> <laughs> sir, we had a thousand kids like you. I can't see my brother's faces. I've been there. I've been trying. And I can't see their faces at all. Has that ever happened? To you? Well, you don't just think about their faces. You think about something specific, something you've done together. Yeah, that's a good way to remember. My wife pruning the rose bushes and a pair of my old work gloves. Two of my brothers came and, and woke me up in the middle of the night. And they said they had a surprise for me, his brother Dan, with Alice, <laughs> Alice Jardine. <laughs> <laughs> Picture a girl who took a nosedive from the ugly tree and hit every branch coming down. Oh my gosh. Mean. <laughs> and, and Dan's got her shirt off. All of a sudden, John just screams out. <laughs> Danny, you're a young man. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and so Alice Jardine hears this and she screams and she jumps up and she tries to get running out of the wall. <laughs> she's still got the shirt over her head. She goes running right into the wall and knocks Oh her my out. God. But, but at the same time, Alice is over there unconscious. He's got to wake, wake her up. So he grabs her by Oh my god. And Sean's saying, what are you trying to hit me for? I just did you a favor. <laughs> <laughs> he loses the shovel, goes out of his grasp, and hits a kerosene lantern. Oh no. The thing explodes. The whole barn almost. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a dramatic story. Just over a girl that they didn't find pretty. Seems a bit stupid. <laughs> Tell me about your wife and those rose bushes. No. No, that one I saved just for me. Firm, Captain. You gotta be. Oh. Oh, no. Do I hear something? A plane? Don't tell me it's a plane dropping bombs. A helicopter. Whatever. Oh, God. It is. And the beautiful moment was interrupted. Tiger tanks, two of them. Panzer tanks, two of them. Infantry. 50 plus J. 50. Wow, that is so good that they have that language to communicate with one another. And Morse code, I heard that's another thing they used back in the day. Thank God Ripon didn't leave. All hands on deck, you know. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't jinx yourself. Upham's got to be strong now. He's got to shoot if it comes down to it. Far out, that noise is making me so anxious. Oh my god, be careful, please! Oh god. Where's Mellish? Oh. It's a ton of infantry, Captain. I don't know if they took the bait, though. Damn. Answers didn't take the bait. Damn. Infantry's moving to the left. After I just went by, we got 20 troops. Damn, and he's holding the gun. I'm scared he's gonna miss a shot or something. Uh oh. They stopped. Oh no, they're turning. Oh my god, so close. Jesus. That Humvee is the real fucking deal, dude. How did you chew gum at a time like this? 
Oh my god. It's even shakier now. This has got to be difficult for the captain. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Oh my god. Oh. You've got to be super loud if you're a captain, that's for damn sure. Oh my god. <gasps> ah! Ah, hurry, 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 hurry! Ah! Oh my god. Dude, oh! Now, light it up. He just blew himself up! Jackson is the best. Actually, the best. Oh my god, move out of the damn way! Jesus! Oh my god, up him, up him, up him, up him, move! Move, boy! Damn! Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Is up him gonna shoot anything? I really want to see him shoot, but also I don't want him to lose his innocence, you know? Sticky bombs, sticky bombs! Run, 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 run! Oh shit. Oh my god, that hardly damaged the vehicle. Oh my god. Poor Upham! Ooh. Oh no, oh no, please protect Upham. That's all I care about right now. Poor Upham. Molotovs. Oh my god. Fucking hell. Oh my god, wow. Oh my gosh. Get down, Ryan, you... Idiot! <laughs> oh! No matter what you do, protect Upham and protect Ryan. Oh my gosh. Ooh! 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 I don't know when the last time I saw a war movie was. It must have been Dun Dunkirk in the cinemas. Ooh! Ooh! Cover Upham! Cover Upham! God damn. God damn. Holy crap a moly. Oh, nice. Nope. I, I, I just hope n nothing bad happens to Jackson, too, because he is very talented. Oh, God. He missed. I've never seen him miss anything before. Oh, my God. Ah. Oh, my God. No. No! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Ah! Oh! Jackson! He was so fucking talented! Oh my god. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Take cover! Oh, poor Upham. <laughs> poor Upham. I relate most to Upham if I'm, if I'm being real. Oh, come on, Upham. Do, 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 get the ammo. Get the ammo to him. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Give him a sec. Fuck, he's gonna have to shoot. He's gonna have to shoot. He's gonna have to shoot. Is he gonna shoot himself? Oh my god. This is fucking stressful. Please tell me that's Upham. Upham. Oh no, it's not Upham. It's not gonna be Upham. Dude, don't waste your bullets, bro. Don't tell me it was Upham. I really don't want it to be Upham right now. Oh my god. Can someone check? Oh! Oh! Fuck's sakes! Oh god. Oh god. Meanwhile, dude on the floor is dying. Oh god. Ripe! Looks like Ryben needed that luck after all. Where is Upham? Ryan's gonna be the only one left. He's gonna have to save himself. This is traumatizing poor Upham. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Melish has given him a good fight. Yes! Kill that German prick! Ah! Fucking hell. Oh, it's not even Melish. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. Do something. Oh my god, it is Melish. Oh god! Oh no! 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 Oh my god! A Nazi killed Melish. Upham wasn't fast enough. Oh! Oh! Fuck's sakes! Not the sergeant! Oh! 
Oh god, to render, dude. Oh my god. Killed your friends, man. Not gonna do anything about it. Ugh. Oh fuck. I'm run out of tissues. Ooh. It looks like Ryan is great. I'm kind of glad he didn't agree to go home. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no. Fuck. Oh. Oh, Ryan's still around? Oh my god, ouch. Oh, his hand. Oh. Clear the bridge, dudes. Get off the bridge. Oh, oh. God, that must be so heavy to carry. Oh no, the sergeant. Oh. Mike, are you all right? I just got the wind knocked out of me. Get out of here. Oh my gosh. Hey, you're coming. You're coming across the bridge. That's their captain, I think. Oh my lord. Poor captain. Get behind something, captain. Oh my god. Is James okay? Oh, Mike's dead. The sergeant's dead. <laughs> A little lower, bro. Oh no. Oh my gosh, the shooting never ends. What is he doing? What is he doing? What the fuck? Don't the captain got shot! No fucking way. Oh my god, that's so fucking sad. His wife at home is gonna be so sad. Oh, is he gonna shoot himself? It's not gonna work. Dude, you're gonna get run over, bro. You're gonna get run over, bro. <gasps> what? So Soviets? Soviets? Oh my god, wow. Oh! No subs. Upham. His name is Upham as well. Oh my god, he just shot someone. He shot himself. Is that supposed to be symbolic? He shot a version of himself in the war. This was all for you, Ryan. They all could have gone home if you just agreed to come along with them. Oh, Ern being a captain. Oh, the light went out of the captain's eyes and he never got to go home to his wife. <laughs> oh. Don't good. Campaign to rid the world of tyranny and oppression. Wishing you good health and many years of happiness with James at your side. <sighs> Return to your loved son and he compensates you or the thousands of other American families. <laughs> I pray that our Heavenly Father may assuage the anguish of your bereavement, leave you only the cherished memory of the love. Uh, this is very, very, very sad. On the altar of freedom. Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Oh, that's Ryan. All those years later. No wonder he was crying so hard. <laughs> Damn. All of those men. He got to go on and have a big, beautiful family. The last of the Ryans. <sighs> Burn it. Oh, God, the guilt. Oh, my God. My tissues ran out, and I am not okay. Captain John H. Miller. Oh. Damn. I feel like... Holy, no makeup left on my face. Captain, Pennsylvania.
Absolutely gut-wrenching film. Oh, Steven Spielberg directed this. Oh. Damn, I'm wrecked after that film. I was somber throughout the entire film. I don't really know what to say because I, I don't really know much about war. I don't really know the jargon. I do know a little bit about World War II and what greater role America played in ending World War II. I've never actually seen a film like this about World War II in the perspective of Americans. The film dived us right into the deep end when it came <laughs> to all of the war stuff. I really didn't know what to expect. I thought maybe we would get some nice background story of some of the soldiers in their past lives and maybe, I, I, I don't know, I, I, I didn't really know who Ryan was. I thought maybe the captain was Ryan for a while until I found out his name was James, until I found out what the mission actually was. That is when I realized they're saving a man. They're trying to save a man they don't even know is alive to bring him back to his mother. The mission was very, very sweet. I can imagine the amount of guilt that James Ryan would have been feeling. Two men died for the mission and then several more men died because he chose to stay. I'm glad that he ended up living a full life and that he was able to be there for his poor darling mother who had to deal with the loss of three sons. Oh my God, that is tragic. God, I would... I. <laughs> Back in the day, if you had four sons, I would have been so scared because there were so many wars back then. I mean, there are still wars right now, but you weren't really forced to go to war and I guess the pressure wasn't as high to go to war. I feel like it's a little bit different now, but also I'm completely ignorant of the military and what goes on and, and all of that kind of stuff. As I mentioned, all of the war jargon, the military talk, I didn't really have anything to, to say or to add on to any of those moments because it was all really fresh to me. I related the most to Upham for sure. I think I would have reacted the same way as Upham because obviously I've never shot anyone before. Upham's only shot a gun once in training. Never really shot a person before. I think it was quite symbolic that he shot a man also named Upham in the place where I suppose he would have felt like the biggest coward. He would have felt an enormous amount of guilt. And so he had to shoot that Upham out of his life and just move on. I think it was incredibly sad to see Upham so vulnerable like that because you could tell that he really wanted to help, but he was frozen. Like in situations where we are in danger our body goes into fight flight or freeze mode and Upham clearly went into freeze mode you can really tell that all of these events have truly traumatized him and so I related to Upham the most I was the most sad about Captain John Miller's death I absolutely loved him as a captain he was firm he was compassionate he was kind he was friendly he was funny he was a teacher and a loving husband who wanted to so badly go back to his wife and to think that if James Ryan had agreed to just go home when he was supposed to, they would have all gone home. They would have earned the right to go home because that was the mission and that was the reward for the mission. But instead, they all stuck around and a lot of them died. And yeah, that was a very, very hard movie to watch. I don't think I'll be watching that movie again. It was very, very heavy. I feel super heavy. I felt anxious throughout because the whole time in my ears, it was like, gun, gun, gunshots, gunshots all the time, bombs, bombs. And you didn't really get too much of a break from all of that. So, you know, as I said, I'm not really used to war films. I don't really watch them. It was a great film, mind you. It was a great film, but I don't think I'll be watching that film again. There are some films in your lifetime that you only just watch once, and this was definitely one of them. The acting was amazing. The directing, Steven Spielberg, amazing. Yeah, all of the actors, some of them I didn't know of, but all of the actors did an incredible job at depicting soldiers of war, um, but also men, vulnerable men that have family back at home to think about and that care for them as well. You know, there was a moment in the film where they were joking about this lady's huge tits and I was like, oh, brotherhood, they're bonding, you know? And so it was nice to see that 
brotherhood bonding during war. I enjoyed this film for what it was. I think everybody did an incredible job. The directing and the writing was beautiful. And the end was really beautiful too, to see that James lived a full life and he has a huge family now. So let me know what you thought of this film in the comment section below. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really helps my channel out. Uncut version is on Patreon as always. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.